Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 67. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, YouTubers Love Excel 67 to 71. Hey, this YouTuber said, hey, I got a table of data, and I need to be able to pull records from the table from another sheet. So he wants to type in a last name here and have automatically all of the uh, field elements show up for that record. For example, if he says name eight, he wants all this data. Now I'm going to show you two ways. We're going to use the VLOOKUP and then we're going to use the DGET, a, a database function called DGET. But first, we have to name. We have to name and use data validation. The very first thing I want to do is name this first column here. So I'm going to click in the top cell and control shift down arrow to highlight all the way down. Then I'm going to click in the name box and I'm going to type name. Enter. Now I'm going to go over to this sheet and for the VLOOKUP I want data validation with a drop down. So in this cell I'm going to go to uh, data and then validation in 2003 you have to go to the data menu and then data validation the keyboard shortcut that works in all versions alt dl alt dl i'm going to hit tab and then i'm going to type the letter l to get to list cuz that's what we want and then tab and i forget what my name is so i'm going to use the keyboard shortcut f3 that gives me like my uh, paste name option and then i'm going to double click name and then click OK. Now watch this. Uh, now I have my uh, list so I can pick a name 8. But watch this. I'm going to copy this. When you copy a cell, it takes formatting and uh, content and data validation. I'm going to click over on this next YouTubers Love Excel 67.3. Uh, and when we do our DGET, we're going to need the same thing here. So I'm just going to control V. No way. That's totally cool. So I can copy data validation. Now we're going to do VLOOKUP and then DGET. You gotta remember though, we're gonna, since we're gonna use a name of a table, we gotta go back to our data set. When you use VLOOKUP, you cannot include the field names in your table. When you use DGET, which is a database function, you have to have all your records and your field names. And as always, I have little notes here. And there's some little notes exactly about that. So let's highlight the entire table. The keyboard shortcut to highlight an entire table is Control Asterisk. And that little asterisk is on the number pad. And now I'm going to come up here. And then I'm going to call this D name. Enter. And now I'm going to highlight this very first record. And to highlight all the way down, I'm going to hold Control and Shift and the down arrow. And then I'm going to name this, click up in the name box and name this V name. Now we can go do our cool little tricks. I'm going to click over on the 67.2 and let's do our formula for VLOOKUP. I'm going to highlight the whole range here. And in the light colored cell right here, I'm going to say equals VLOOKUP. What's the value I want to look up? Right here. But get this, when I copy over to each one of these cells across the columns, I need to lock it going across the column. So I'm going to hit F4, F4, F4. That uh, locks it going across the column. Comma, and what's my table array? That's the name. That's the table it's looking up. It's going to take this value and look over there. But we need to say what table it is. Well, we've already named it. I'm going to hit my F three key and we name this one V name without the field name so I'm going to click that and then comma now wait a second this uh, table over here if you remember is set up in the same columns a B C D E well this is column two so for index number we need a two here when we get over to um, that's for first name when we get over to date we need a three when I get over to hours, I need a 4. When I get over to wage, I need a 5. Well, there's a cool way to do this. What is column number B? This is column number 1. This is column number 2. So because our original table is set in A, B, C, D, we can just use the column function the column function, just like that. Now, it just happens to be that it was a uh, B1. And when you don't type in a cell reference here like uh, R4, um, let's see, 
M3, I think M is the 13th column, so that would deliver 13. If you don't put anything there and you just leave it argumentless, it'll tell you the column that you're currently located in. And B column is what we want, which is a 2. Remember, there's a trick. If you don't believe it, you can always highlight the part of it and hit your F9 key. That's the F9 key it, put, it uh, evaluates. You can see that it's a 2. Control Z to undo it because we want to have that column. Now, comma, since we're looking up words, we need false. So I'm going to type 0, close parentheses. That formula will work when I Control Enter. Sure enough, it got exactly what we want, except for it's got the, a date problem. So we need to, um, since dates are serial numbers, the number of days since January 1st, no, I'm sorry, uh, December 31st, 1899. Remember, January 1st, 1900 is 1. January 2nd, 1900 is 2. This date right here, 39,665. Well, let's format and see what day it is. Control 1 is the keyboard shortcut for format cells. Number and then date. Oh, 85, 2008. And then click OK. Now we can test it and point to our uh, drop down and go to name 11. Let's uh, scroll up and say uh, name 2. So that is a way to get data. Uh, with data validation and VLOOKUP. Now let's go see how to do it for D get. I'm going to click over here. I'm going to highlight all the cells and in the light color cell, uh, very first one, I'm going to say equals D get. And the database, oh, we need to tell this function what the database that includes the field name. So I'm going to hit my F3 key, which is paste name. I'm going to go to D name, because that's what we named the table with field names, comma, the field, well, that's always going to be one cell above. And this function needs the field name, so it knows where to go and look, comma. And what's the criteria? Oh, last name, and uh, that's the field name, and that's the particular uh, variable from this column of data. Now, we need to lock this, so I'm going to hit F4, F4, F4. So when we go across this way, it'll be remain locked. Now. Remember, criteria with the database functions always requires a field name and the criteria below it. That's different than functions like sum if, uh, where you have criteria. All right, close parentheses and then control enter. Control enter. Same thing here. I'm going to click there, control one. Go to date, and it's 8 4 2008. Looks like it worked just for perfectly. I'm going to click over here. Say um, person number eight, or last name eight, last name 13. So that's how to retrieve uh, an entire record with data validation and D get. And here's a data validation and VLOOKUP. All right, we'll see you next trick.